hey if we divide two integers suppose we have a divided by b and we have suppose b divided by a if a divided by b is equal to b divided by a always condition is always no matter what no matter what if this condition in any case is satisfied that is a divided by b or b divided by a what does that mean if a is a numerator and b is a denominator in the first case and if b is a numerator and a is a denominator in the second case then if these are equal that if the result of these two divisions are equal then always then we will say that the division of integers doesn't matter whether positive or negative integers the division of integers follows commutative property but if this condition is not always true if remember we had discussed in the case of addition and multiplication so addition and multiplication used to follow the commutative property but the subtraction um, uh, subtraction cannot follow the commutative property because uh, satisfaction uh, subtraction doesn't follow the commutative property because in that case you will not always get the same result so let's see for a divided by b and uh, for division so suppose a is 2 let me take with some different color suppose a is 2 and b is 2 a is 2 and b is minus 2 a is minus 2 and b is 2 suppose this we have three options so if you do a divided by b in all these cases so in this case the first one this is second one and this is third one so if you do a divided by b in the first one this will be 2 divided by 2 and the answer will be 1 right so this is a divided by b what about what about b divided by a so if you do b divided by a in this case it will again be 2 divided by 2 and this will be 1 what about this case that is a divided by b so this will be 2 divided by minus 2 and therefore the answer will be minus 1 for b divided by a this will be minus 2 divided by 2 the answer will be minus 1 for this one a divided by b will be minus 2 divided by 2 answer will be 1 and b divided by a will be 2 divided by minus 2 and the answer will be sorry in this case minus 1 and here also it will be minus 1 now you can see that in the first case these two are equal right that is a divided by b is equal to b divided by a why because 1 and 1 in the second case also you can see that a divided by b is minus 1 b divided by a is minus 1 in the third case again you have a divided by b minus 1 and b divided by minus 1 so in all these three cases like in the first one also a divided by b is equal to b divided by a in the second example a divided by b is equal to b divided by a in the third example a divided by b is equal to b divided by a now you will say that hey since in, in, in these three examples we can see that a divided by b is equal to b divided by a and that satisfies our commutative property. So you will say that okay division follows the commutative property but wait it's not the case. Suppose you have suppose you have a as 4 and b as 5 okay do a divided by b what you will get this will be 4 divided by 5 is 4 completely divisible by 5 the answer is no okay what about b divided by a this will give you 5 divided by 4 now 
a divided by b is 4, 4 uh, by 5 and b divided by a is 5 divided by 4. Are these two same? The answer is no. And you can find many such examples or many such conditions where I mean almost in every condition you will not get the same answer. That is these two will not be equal. In this case you saw that uh, the result were equal because the numerator and the denominator were of the same value right so in any case you will get one in any case you will always get the one okay had it been 100 by 100 a as 100 b as 100 then also you will get one okay but in this case as you change the value like as you change the value if a is 2 b is b is 6 do a divided by b so what you will get you'll get 2 by 6 and you'll get 1 by 3 this will be this will be the answer what about b divided by a b divided by a you'll get 6 divided by 2 and the answer is 3 so in this case you got 1 by 3 and here you got you are getting 3 these two are not equal therefore since the for any property to be true the condition is that it should always be true like it should not be that in one example the property is holding true but in the second proper in the second example or some other examples the property is not holding true so you will say that the division does not follow commutative property